guys it's your boy will back with another video today hope you guys are doing good in this video i'll be talking about a diamond handing stock momentum stock that i'm looking to buy more of okay it has a big day on monday and then it has a pattern after that okay so make sure you pay attention to how i say the pattern is what levels i give you guys that i'm looking to play so buying levels i'm looking to buy resistance levels i'm looking to sell and support levels i'm looking for price to hold because it's been doing the same thing past three of these events, okay? So stay tuned for all the information. Thank you guys for being here. Smash that like button, subscribe, try and get the 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I know you guys can do it. Let's get the video over 100 likes as well, okay? I know it's Saturday, but we still gotta make these videos, still gotta get that information out, okay? No days off. Now, with this stock, okay? As you can already tell, we have an old level right here, you can tell that I hit perfectly, okay? I'll explain why I did not buy right there, and then I'll give you guys a new levels, okay? I also had a lot of questions about this stock as well, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. So the stock that I'll be talking about today is AMC Entertainment Holdings. Ticker symbol AMC, ticker symbol AMC, okay? AMC has a big day on Monday, okay? They have earnings. Now, the pattern that I've been seeing with earnings First, let's go over these old levels, okay? Just to show you why I did not buy. Old level I give you guys for buying was $40. Price dropped down. What did it do at that $40 mark? Buying pressure, boom, shot up crazy, right? Perfect level. That's why I say don't miss a video and share the video out so we can spread the knowledge. So hit it perfectly. Didn't really give an entry. Probably could have entered but even if you bought at this level to the high of the day, it was not a big percentage. It's only about 4%, right? That's not worth buying right now. That's why I didn't buy, okay? So small percentage, but the level did hit perfectly. So I wanted to show you guys that. You can always check the videos beforehand. I give you these levels before they even happen, okay? And I don't see much people doing that. So I have a le another level down here around like, if it pops up, let's see. If uh, around like 37.40, I'll still leave that level on here just in case we get a drop, but I don't think we're going to get a drop this low. Uh, so I'll probably just leave it on there, but I don't think it'll be a drop that low. Now, for an exit level, okay, I still own my long shares. I have not sold that. That's another account. I don't plan on selling that anytime soon, okay? I'm with the movement. I'm diamond handing that. I don't even look at it, okay? It's bought. I might buy some more in that position, depending on how Monday moves. I might buy more, so stay tuned for that. But I let that one over there just sit, okay? But in another account, I will be trading AMC. So for an exit, I won't exit the whole position, but I will be exiting some right at this 46 level, okay? I think we're going to see some resistance there. And once we do see that resistance and it pulls back, I'll whatever I sold here, like say I sold 50%, 60%, Whenever it sells off, I'll put that 50 to 60% back in. So now we're at profit. We're back at our original position, and now we're going to profit more. Okay? That's how I'm doing with the exit. Okay? So make sure you pay attention to that, how I said that very closely. But for the buying level, and then I'll tell you guys the pattern that I uh, see. Okay? For the buying level, I'm looking at around like 41. And it's already it already pulled back a little bit after hours. It only needs to pull back about 60 cents or so nothing too crazy which i think is very possible so right around that 41 dollars level that's where i'm looking to enter okay starting to show pressure starting to see that movement i think it moved a little bit too much before earnings i was hoping it only moved like a little bit so we can have some more profit but again we can't control price we just have to go with it okay so right around that 41 dollars that's where i'm looking for that buying pressure now <clears throat> with the pattern after earnings okay usually it drops before earnings so when I was seeing this, I was like, perfect, okay? This is lining up perfect. I just did not expect this much big of a run before the earnings, okay? So I'm still expecting some soft movement Monday <clears throat> when they release earnings. I believe it's uh, before market. Don't quote me on that. I'm not too sure. I would have to check again. But once they release the earnings, I'm either going to buy, um, yeah, so it was after hours. So Tuesday, so you want to watch this level Monday. If it shows buying pressure on Monday, I'm buying, okay? 
I will be buying here, okay? Now, if it does not show buying pressure on Monday, I'll make an update video for you guys Monday night for Tuesday, okay? So we can see how pre-market acts and how aftermarket acts, okay? But for right now, Monday, buying pressure is here. I'm buying, and I'm looking for it to go up to around that $41, $46. So if we buy at that $41 mark, <clears throat> That's about a 12% play, okay? Now, usually after earnings, it goes up between, I would say like 12, like 10 to 20%, it goes up after earnings. So the 12% right here is pretty safe. That's why I say I won't exit the whole position at this 46 mark. I'll probably exit about half to take some profits. I always encourage, always take profits. So I'll take profits there. I'll be looking for a little sell-off. Like I said, I'll put that position back on and then the next level that I'll be looking to take profit is, let's see. Let's see if we can get it on here if we scroll. Yeah, so the next level I'll be looking to take profit is right around 50. Right, so my money's working in multiple ways. Instead of just holding through this whole thing, I'm holding, selling here, wait for the sell off, buying again, let it go up here, sell off again, buy it again. So your money's working multiple ways, right? I don't like money sitting too long in one place. So 41 to 50 should be around 20%. Yeah, 22%, okay? So this is the range that I'm looking for AMC to come in, okay? Right after earnings. That's what I'm looking like. Now, another thing we have to think about is <clears throat> what will the earnings be, okay? Hopefully the earnings isn't so bad. As long as the earnings isn't horrible, I don't think it will drop too much. But if it's bad, then I think it will drop, okay? It might mess up the pattern because, say, if it drops after hours, instead of buying at 41, I'll be looking to buy more <clears throat> around 37, 38, okay? So, but that, that just depends on um, how the earnings is going to act. But for right now, 41, I'm looking to buy Monday. Always wait for that buying pressure, okay? We don't just buy because the levels hit. We always wait for that buying pressure. That's what I'll be waiting for. And then I'll be taking those two exits um, right around 46 and 50. But again, on uh, Monday after hours, depending on what the earnings is, I'll make an update video for you guys Monday night. And then if the earnings is horrible and we have a drop on um, aftermarket and pre-market, just know I'll be looking more around 37.40 to 38. But if we have a pull up, hopefully we already get in on Monday. But if we have a pull up, then it might be a little higher around 42 or so. But like I said, I'll update you guys on that. Thank you guys for all the love on the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything. This is for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.